In this video, we're going to talk about economic growth, and the definition for economic growth is the expansion of production possibilities, and that pretty much means an increase in standard of living, which is the main thing you gotta know about. So, economic growth uh, supports or causes an increase in standard of living, and this happens when the production per person multiplies but there's a couple other things that we need to know economic growth doesn't overcome scarcity and avoid opportunity costs so they don't overcome scarcity and they do not avoid uh, opportunity costs to make an economy grow we have to have a trade-off so the faster we make production grow uh, that means or that causes, that implies that uh, the greater the opportunity cost of the economic growth that we have. Now, uh, there are two key factors that influence economic growth, and they are technological change, and that is the development of new goods and uh, of better ways to produce goods and services. So that pretty much means, for example, before we used to use human labor and now we use uh, mechanical labor machines. That, an exact, that is an example of technological change. The second factor is capital accumulation. That's the growth of capital resources including human capital. Remember that human capital is the ideas, the knowledge, the things that we can not touch. Capital resources are the buildings, the money, and things that we can touch. And these two factors are kind of the reason why we have, or they are the reason why we have so many cars and global communication services. Now, if we use our resources to develop new technologies and to produce new capital, we have to decrease our production of uh, consumable goods and services uh, in the present. So to make our future better, we have to decrease uh, what we're doing, we have to decrease our consumption in the present. So the opportunity cost of economic growth is less current consumption. We, and this graph is kind of a representative of what we're talking about. So what we have here, let me just move my notes. Uh, what we have here is uh, a trade-off that we face. What we can do is we can produce more burgers or or we can produce uh, these burger machines that automatically creates the burgers for you. I call this the Burger Machine 2000 and this is an awesome machine that makes burgers for you. So we can what we can do is we can just make burgers or we could just split up our resources to produce uh, Burger Machine 2000 or burgers. So if we split up our resources, what will happen is uh, our PPF, that is uh, our current situation, will, will, will just shift or it will pivot from this point, it will pivot from 10 and it will pivot outwards to, to this red, uh, red line, this uh, produ uh, production possibilities frontier, this PPF future. This is what we could achieve if we split up our resources to to research and develop our Burger Machine 2000 uh, rather than to just make uh, burgers uh, full bore. So there are a couple points that I want to state before we end this video and it seems rather short but I'm writing all these definitions and concepts down which take a lot of time if you gotta believe me about that. So the amount uh, production expansion. Uh, so the amount of production expansion depends on resources we devote to technological change and capital accumulation. That pretty much means uh, that taking money away from selling to focus on research and development. So what I just said, pretty much splitting up, uh, splitting up our resources and devoting some of our resources to technological change and cap capital accumulation taking some of the resources and putting it in the future and and um, yeah so if we put it into the future then we could achieve things that we could not achieve uh, if we didn't put our money in the future 
in the future. So, but if there are no resources that are used for technological change, so for example, we did not put any resources, we did not put any money into future research and development, then the PPF stays the same. So if we're uh, making burgers forever using the old-fashioned way without using the Burger Machine 2000, I love the Burger Machine 2000. So yeah, if we don't put any resources into the future, then our PPF will stay in this blue line for the forever until we actually do put some um, put some investment into the into the Burger Machine 2000. That's a great name, the Burger Machine 2000. I would like to have a machine that makes burgers for me. Really love it. Now we could so we could have production and we can use resources from one half to lay the groundwork. And what this does is pretty much it gives us a potential. It gives us the potential to achieve a greater future expansion of our of our PPF. And lastly, in this in this uh, section, the opportunity cost cannot be avoided. And that is something that you just have to like have at heart. That opportunity cost can never be avoided. To produce more of something, we have to give up something. Uh, that is pretty much if we're ma if we're already doing something as a, as efficient as possible. So, opportunity cost cannot be avoided. To produce more in the future means we have to produce less today, and that is something that we have to keep in our hearts. Now, lastly, I just want to talk a little bit about nation's economic growth, which is just a recap of the things that we talked about. But um, yeah, I think that repetition pretty much helps you remember things uh, better if I don't repeat it at all. So we already know that when the PPF expands, consumption in the future can increase. That means that the future gets better. That means that our, our, uh, our PPF uh, expands outward to the PPF future through this red line. And a decrease in today's consumption is the opportunity cost of tomorrow's increase in consumption. So we have to decrease uh, what we are we have to decrease the resources that we're using today put some resources uh, into the future to increase the, the 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 consumption that we're allowed in the future and that's all I want to talk about for today uh, please rate comment and subscribe if you haven't already and in the next video we'll talk about gains from trade uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again next time